per a request from one of you guys, I'm going to do a quick how-to on using a quill wing. <laughs> and I know you've seen some other videos on how to use wings, but the quill wings are a little bit different, and so I just thought I'd do a quick one. Um, these are what I call the medium wing, and so they've got a 35-inch quill in it, and they're about two yards long, so 72 inches. And so anyway, okay, so I'm going to show you first with one, and then I'll show you with two. So I'm going to set this to the side for just a second. Okay, if you've watched any of the other how-tos, you know that one of the standard movements is a figure eight with your wrist. So you're going like this, and then back, and like this, and then back. And that is absolutely no different with using the quill wing. So basically, you're just doing a figure eight. And so your wrist is flipping back and forth, and you're creating basically what looks like an infinity sign in front of you. Okay, so again, without the quill, this is what it looks like. So my wrist is flipping this way, my wrist is flipping that way. So as long as you're flipping your wrist while you're doing your figure eight that's on its side, <laughs> it looks like an infinity sign, you are just fine. Okay, so it works like this. Now you can do that movement all over the place. You can make it as big as you want. So here I'm just doing a larger figure eight. You can see, okay? I can do that while I'm in motion too. So actually what I'll sometimes do is bring a turn. So I'm holding it straight. I'm doing a turn into a figure eight. So these are just very simple movements. Let's try that again. A turn into a figure eight, okay? The other one that you'll sometimes see me do is where I go up over the head and down. And that's a figure eight. It's just a standing up figure eight. So you're going to go over the head is the top loop, underneath is the bottom loop. Overhead is the top loop, underneath is the bottom loop. So literally this is what you're doing. And so it's up and over and down and flip, up and over and down and flip. So you're just flipping your wrist. It's just a figure eight. Okay? And sometimes I do them out to the side, which again, all I'm doing is a figure eight. So I'm going up with my figure eight, down with my figure eight, up with my figure eight, down with my figure eight. And the reason that we're constantly doing the figure eights is because that's how you keep it from getting tangled. Because with the wings, they have this beautiful tail, that's what I call this part, that's not attached to the rod, that can totally get twisted on your arm. And so if you try and move back too quickly, it gets all tangled up, okay? Which you can just shake it and it'll come undone, okay? So when you're doing the figure eights, that's what keeps it from getting twisted, okay? And so when you're doing the vertical ones like this, again, you're just adding that little flip of your wrist at the end in the eight. So you're adding a flip of your wrist at the top part and at the bottom part, at the top part and at the bottom part. And that flip is what keeps it from getting stuck on your arm. <laughs> okay. Now, when I go to pick up my second one, You'll notice that actually on most of the moves, I'm doing exactly the same things. I'm just doing them in parallel motion. So here for this move, which this is one that you see me do a lot, I'm basically doing mirrored figure eights. So we're doing the exact same movement in both hands. We're just doing it where it mirrors each other. So it looks like this. This is your figure eight. And again, you're doing the wrist flip at the top and the bottom, which keeps the tail from getting caught, okay? And so that's a very typical move that you'll see me do because it looks beautiful and big. And the beautiful thing is, is because the quills are flexible, even if they hit each other, it doesn't throw you off. <laughs> it may make a small click, but it's not like if you were using wooden dabs, okay? And so this move from the side looks like this. And this is a great one, okay? And then also you can do the figure eight that's on its side. That's all this is. And so it just gives a really big effect when you have two. And so these are just simple moves. I am not a complicated dancer with flags. I'm not that coordinated to do that. <laughs> so again, if I do a spin into figure eights on their side, like this. The other thing I'll sometimes do is I'll keep the figure eight going over here and I'll do the one over my head. See, so then I can add a little extra flip into it. <laughs> But that's basically it. Those are seriously some of the basic moves. And just with those moves, you're able to create something that's beautiful. Because again, I'm just doing figure eights here. And then I'm doing figure eights on their side here. And that's it. <laughs> Hopefully you found that helpful. 
I always love tips and tricks myself because it helps things be easier to use. So anyway, hope you have a great day and happy worshiping. God bless you.